Hey gang, welcome to another edition of Doc Schlock, where it's a review of the movie... Wait a minute. This isn't the right movie. Let me check my papers real quick. This, this happened something. Hold on a second. I'm, I'm sorry about this, gang. Huh. That's the right one. Paranormal Entity. No, this is not a spoof or a, or a parody of paranormal activity. It's actually a ripoff. And it's from our old friends, the Asylum Studio Movie Studios. And it is the story of a guy named Thomas... His sister, Samantha, and their mom, Ellen, who live in a house that is being messed with and bothered by an evil spirit. Okay, that's weird. Earlier, it was snowing, and now it's preparing to rain? Weird. Anyway. I really gotta lay off Taco Bell. I really do. So, yeah, it's it's pretty much a paranormal activity ripoff. They're being bothered by an evil spirit that wants to get at Samantha. Why not Ellen? I guess she's not really much to look at. Maybe the ghost isn't really into ghost or evil spirit isn't into uh, what they call milfs. I don't know. Okay, I'm sorry. It was a bad joke. I'm sorry. Jeez. Anyway, the evil spirit wants to get at Samantha. I guess if you've been dead for a long, long time, you still crave a little, you know, crave a little interaction. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad. I'll, I'll admit that. I'm sorry about that. It's a found footage ripoff movie. That's another part about this. So yeah, it's, it's, it's. <laughs> anyway, there's all kinds of things going on. Knocking at doors. There's uh, weird stuff happening. Uh, Ellen, the mother, gets up in the middle of the night, uh, writes on a piece of paper. There's all kinds of weird stuff happening in this movie. And by the end of it. The evil... I'll wrap this up in a second. By the end of it, the evil spirit gets what he wants, Samantha. He attacks her in her room and leaves her for dead. And somehow manages to pick up the camera that Thomas leaves behind and gets a good shot of her, uh, a, sh a good shot of her dead body. Is then later on revealed that Thomas was accused of raping and killing his sister. Yeah. <laughs> and he went to jail for it, but then he wound up committing suicide, and his mom wound up doing the same thing. Apparently somebody's a critic of my own critical review of this really crappy movie. So there you have it. The whole movie tried to basically make you feel like this whole thing was realistic, but everybody who had half a brain knows this movie was nothing more than a mere ripoff from the asylum. And you know what the bad thing is? It inspired three different sequels. I know! <sighs> you know, I've never really been a fan of the paranormal activity movies. <laughs> In fact, I'm not a big fan of found footage horror movies, but this one was really taking it too far. Maybe perhaps if it had been a parody, it would have been a little bit more enjoyable, but really, in all honesty, it was boring. Like, okay, it, it was kind of boring. I just didn't really like it that much, and I've not yet seen the three sequels, and I don't plan on it anytime soon. So. Do whatever you want. I don't care. I'm not going to see them. So. So. 
So there you guys pretty much have it. Paranormal Entity. <sighs> Decide the truth for yourself. Well, the truth is, it sucked. If you like my videos, feel free to subscribe. And if you have a horror, sci-fi horror, comedy horror, or fantasy horror movie that wasn't quite found footage horror movie, but sucked just the same, send it my way and I'll get on it ASAP. Thank you so very much for watching. And until next time, for Doc Schlock, stay strong and rock on. And I'm getting the heck out of here! <laughs>